Hey there everybody, Leprechaun coming at you. Um, so, I know I uh, mentioned in my channel description that I was going to be doing games and Warlock stuff. I haven't even posted in a while. Um, oh, been so busy. Uh, things have been crazy. Um, putting in an obscene amount of hours at work. Um, I know I mentioned that this is not like a professional thing for me. I'm not a professional YouTuber. Um, I'm gonna keep doing videos in in seeing how all that goes. But uh, it, it's it's not my money maker. It's not what pays my bills. So I do have a full time job, and that's why I haven't posted in a while. I've been just working a lot of hours. It's it's exhausting. So. Um, now, I also mentioned I was going to do some Warlock type stuff, um, so I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about that. Uh, hadn't done anything with that as far as posting content on YouTube, and I figure it's long past time. Uh, I'm going to have a few game related videos out there. This is going to be my first, uh, non-game video, um. Only gonna still, still gonna have like, I think maybe a half a dozen videos. I I haven't logged. I, I think I've only got four videos, so this is probably number five. But anyway, um, so what do I mean by warlock stuff? Uh, what does that entail? Well, um, it's uh, it's no real secret. I've been out of the broom closet for a while now. Um, I am a uh, practitioner of the um, mystic arts, whatever you want to call it. Um, some people would call it being a witch, a uh, warlock. Um, some people refer to themselves as mages, go by a lot of titles. For the longest time, I really didn't even give myself a title. Uh, it was really other people um, that started... Uh, calling me a warlock. I, I've been called a witch too, and, and that's fine. I don't I don't mind that. Uh, really, you can call me any of those things, and it's fine by me. But um, a few of my friends started mostly referring to me as, as their warlock friend. Um, and they would ask, you know, when they would uh, ask me to perform different things for them, blessings, um, purifications, things of that nature, uh, hey, I, I I need your I need your help as a warlock. Okay, and it kind of stuck. Um, so now I want to make a couple things clear. Um, being a witch or a warlock or whatever um, you tend to call yourself, uh, in no way is an indication of religious beliefs. Um, now. My personal religious beliefs do kind of play a little bit of a part in what I do when I'm doing my rituals and spell castings for for magic. Um, an example of that is um, the particular deities that I tend to work with a lot um, are from Celtic paganism, which is the spirituality I follow, Celtic paganism. So, and because um, I do feel drawn to those particular uh, deities, I do call upon them uh, when I'm doing my spellcraft and whatnot to assist and to lend their guidance or uh, their energy into what I'm doing. But the two are not the same. Um, you You do not have to be a pagan or a Wiccan or any of those others to be a, a witch or a warlock or a mage um, and just because you are a witch or warlock or mage doesn't mean you are pagan or Wiccan and there's another thing paganism and Wiccan two different things um, I, I do find a lot of times people kind of 
mix the two up. Um, even even in in um, books that are written towards um, practicing witchcraft or um, any of those arts, uh, often use the term pagan and Wiccan interchangeably. They're two different belief structures. For one thing, pagan is kind of an umbrella term. It actually covers uh, a multitude of uh, religious beliefs, um, refers to non-Abrahamic faiths that predate Christianity itself. So it could be a lot of things. You got your Norse pagans, you got your Celtic pagans. Um, there are people who still uh, worship and, and follow the Egyptian deities and and practice those kinds of rituals. Uh, the Greek, um, I mean, I've even run into some people who follow the Roman paths and, and pray to the Roman gods and goddesses. Also, not the same as the Greeks. Uh, I find a lot of times, um, mostly in Hollywood, they'll talk about Roman gods or goddesses, but they'll use the Greek names. Big, big difference. Uh, there are a lot of similarities, maybe, in the characteristics of those deities, um, but they're not the same. So anyway, um, a lot of what I'm probably going to be uh, posting on this channel in that regard is going to be me uh, sharing um, some of the things I do as a warlock to to practice my magic maybe a little bit of my ritual stuff that is more about the religious side than the magical arts side um, another thing I want to clarify when I'm talking about magic I'm not talking about um, waving a wand around and things start levitating uh, we're not talking about having duels where we cast fireballs at each other um, none of that kind of fantastical stuff that you see in the movies reading the books uh, we're not hopping on the backs of dragons and flying off and, and none of that no I don't have a pet unicorn um, but for me a lot of what it is is um, utilizing things uh, mostly from nature that have certain kind of energy properties that I can work with to bring about an intent. Um, I'll also do some work with star alignments, moon phases, um, so it's not all earthbound. Um, but just as an example, um, I have a lot of herbs and I will mix those herbs into loose incense that I can burn and then the smoke as it rises kind of charges the energy of the setting I'm in uh, to make make what I'm, I'm my intent uh, more likely to manifest. Um, now again I'm not talking about making something just appear out of thin air. Um, we're, we're not talking magician's tricks here. Um, it's more like sending the energy out in the hopes that what I'm wanting comes back. Um, I know some people aren't maybe going to like this next statement, but it's not all that different from um, somebody praying to the angels or the saints um, for blessings of health uh, or to help a, a loved one in a tough financial time or to help somebody through some kind of depression um, it's it's really it's really very very much the same thing um, now I want to show you guys um, I've got, like I said, I've got a lot of herbs, 
Uh, I got a little bit of crystals. Um, I've been, besides making my own um, concoctions to burn as a loose incense, uh, I also make uh, sachets and and things like that for people to carry on them to either improve their mood, improve their energy, or um, boost their immune system, help promote good health, uh, luck, things like that. Now when I say luck, I don't mean you carry one of these, uh, play the lottery, and you're going to hit the jackpot. That's a little outside of the realm of, of what I'm talking. So, um, if, if you decide to stay tuned and stick through all this with me, uh, as I'm going through my learning process and figuring out how to make these videos, uh, you'll figure out what I mean. Um, so, uh, let me start by showing you guys uh, some of what I got and, and, and kind of explaining it um, there's it's, it's, it's actually pretty simple it's pretty simple if, if you're maybe interested in in witchcraft of some sort um, you probably have a lot of questions that I did when I first started um, and I overthought a lot of things but you'll find it's actually really simple to get into um, really easy. It doesn't take a lot of tools. It doesn't take forking out lots of money. Um, a lot of a lot of beginners think you gotta buy all these different things, go to all these different shops, and and have all these fancy expensive tools to do your your workings and your rituals with. And that's not the case. Um, I have expanded. Uh, a lot from where I first started but it's still pretty simple so let me show you all right so up here we've got um, just a basic altar setup for me um, got some crystals and stones um, got my cauldron that I uh, do burn a lot of incense in um, and my loose leaf herbs that I mentioned oh you can see there's still some leftovers in there a uh, little bit of unburnt stuff but most of it's pretty well burnt um, that I'll be removing um, these uh, deer antler pieces um, that I got I believe, yeah, I bought a whole set off of somebody. Um, now these were not, these were not taken from somebody who trophy hunts or anything like that before people get upset. Um, but I have these on here, and again, this is where my religion kind of bleeds into my practice. Um, one of the deities I work with a lot is Kirnunos. Uh, the horn god um, and so hence the the antlers um, like I said I bought a whole pack of, of antlers and little stangs and um, didn't didn't take me a lot of money over here is my mortal mortar and pestle if I can talk correctly uh, more crystals and stones um, you know see I got some candlesticks and aren't being used currently but I also got some Candles that are very much being used. Um, and then, uh, yeah. Altar cloth. This was a handmade altar cloth I got at, um, it was a local pagan pride day. Um, so it, uh, it was handmade by somebody f from this area. Uh, and then down here, lots of herbs. Lots of herbs. Ooh, look at all these herbs. Yes, lots. Um, sorry, I can be a little weird at times. Uh, now, all these little jars, I got them in. Um, my girlfriend and I actually bought uh, a whole set of, of jars. 
and got this really good bundle deal on it. And of course, we went in together on this. Um, and these little tags, um, some of these herbs, uh, there's a few we actually collected ourselves out of the wild. And again, we did this in a responsible fashion. We didn't just go uh, tearing up some land and ripping out the plants. I don't feel that would be in uh, in in good keeping with with our personal beliefs. It wouldn't be respectful either. And then like orange peel, orange peel here, um, actually came from from fruit that we we ate. Um, so, yeah, and then, uh, cattails that we collected. This is black salt. No, I bought this black salt. Um, again, this is one of those kinds of things. You don't have to have black salt, uh, for, for your witchcraft or whatever you want to call it, but I do. Um, I also do use a lot of just regular salt. Um, now there's some herbs here that I do work with occasionally, uh, or there's some herbs that I work with occasionally that aren't here because they're in my kitchen. Yes, I use some of the same exact herbs that I cook with in my magical practice. And then shelf number two, some of my books, this one here. This is my own personal book of shadows. Um, it's not necessary to have a book of shadows uh, in your your craft, but um, it's it's nice. It's helpful. Um, I do scribe out some of my um, herb mixes uh, that I come up with. That way, I can remember what I use um, when I give somebody a a very specific protection spell. This was actually a gift to me. This big candle. I mean, look at this thing. Look at this. Oh, this is... I have to move the camera back. Yeah. Yeah. This is big. That's a big boy. Um, that was a gift from my girlfriend. Um, some jars. These are just canning jars here. Um, this is my tarot cards. Uh, I am going to leave them in here for now, but maybe, you know, maybe I'll show you some tarot readings and whatnot. Um, some more candles down here. I don't have a whole lot, but uh, I do got some more candles. Just bought a whole pack, 16 pack of, t of uh, votives. Uh, votives are a very nice candle to use for certain candle magic. Um, where you don't want a long burning candle, but you want something that's going to last longer than maybe a tea light. Um, and then, of course, some some more tapers uh, that I'll probably put in those empty holders. Um, and then I do have, actually do have tea lights. They're just not here. Um, then this little thing, I think this, this little thing cost me like less than 20 bucks, maybe. I don't remember now. Um, but it's just a little scale. Works out very nicely for um, actually measuring out herbs. Um, my girlfriend has gotten some recipes for um, herbal potions, herbal tea mixes uh, that have specific measurements. I mean, this, this little wolf here, um, not really magic related per se, but kind of fit the aesthetic, you know. Um, I suppose it actually it could, uh, considering uh, the other deity that I tend to work with a lot is Morrigan. Um, so uh, a wolf, kind of fitting, you know, being being creatures often uh, associated with the moon. Um, and then I do have. There we go. Let's move this out of the direct light. There we go. It's just some some blessed water. This is blessed water. I've I've uh, collected. It was actually rainwater I collected. Um, 
charged it with the moon, did a blessing on it, charged it with some crystals, um, all with specific intent. Um, and then I've got I've got some matches right here, some charcoal discs, little tongs to I use these to hold my charcoal discs while I light them, uh, so I'm not burning my fingers off. Uh, I got an open pack of charcoal discs over here. Oops, knock over my locust thorns. And then I got a little spoon. A little spoon help me uh, get my herbs out. Another teeny tiny little spoon. Doesn't fit in these jars, but it does in some of these other ones. You know, so. Again, this is something not necessary, but yeah, now I have a lunch shell to put um, sage bundles in when I'm burning sage bundles. Got different sage bundles. And then let's just take a nice big step back so you can kind of get the, the full effect there. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Okay, so I've kind of shown you my, my altar setup, um, and you notice my altar is right on top of where I keep my herbs. Um, having a setup like that, also not necessary. You don't have to have that kind of a full setup. Um, my very first altar setup was a very temporary thing. Um, I had a coffee table. And I would just, uh, I would, I had this um, green cloth that was, um, I don't even know what it was for. I, I acquired it at some point, never knew how or why, where it came from, but uh, it, uh, it became an altar cloth for me. And I would just throw this over a coffee table, put all my stuff down, do my ritual or my spell, what have you, and then... Um, pack it all back up in in this trunk I have uh, and actually at first I didn't even have the trunk so I when I would fold it up it would end up just going into my closet on a shelf um, kind of out of sight um, part of the reason I was doing it that way was because at the time I was still kind of in the broom closet um, for for years now it's not been a secret that that uh, I am pagan. Um, I have told people happily uh, that I am pagan. Um, some of my family members weren't so thrilled about that, but that's who I am. Um, but now a lot of what I do with with spells, uh, rituals, um, potions, all that different kind of stuff, tarot reading, um, that's been a little more secretive until, oh, I'd say maybe I started coming out about that stuff four years ago maybe. And then a couple years ago really started bringing it out into the light more. Um, and now I'm, I'm to a point where it, it just it doesn't bother me that people know. Um, I'm okay with it. Um, I have my beliefs and my practices. Everyone else has their own, and that's all right. We don't all have to have the same. Um, if people want to belittle me, if they, if they want to... Uh, do things like uh, call me a devil worshiper or whatnot. Um, it is what it is. You know, I, I'm not going to use the whole sticks and stones saying that's eh, just lame. But uh, the truth is, what they say and think just doesn't affect me. Uh, I'm happy with the way I am, the way I do things. Um, and that's what matters. So, um, if you're starting to get into this kind of stuff, what, it, what I'm talking about, um, you may not be ready for everybody in your life. 
or that you come across to know that and that's okay that is okay it's all right to kind of be in the closet about it so to speak um you'll you'll come out and tell people when the time is right for you now if you're just starting out and you want people to know right now that's more power to you um just be aware that you are going to be met even in these modern times where people are so open-minded you're still going to be met with ridicule you're still going to get those those people that just want to bring you down they they don't understand they're closed off to anything different from what they're comfortable with um, so you're gonna run into haters it's it's gonna happen you just you gotta take the bad with the good um, personally I feel like my craft is worth it and there's so much more good than there is bad um, I also am a firm believer in just embracing different ideologies and beliefs um, I was not raised pagan I was not raised to practice witchcraft um, those are things I found along the way uh, trying to find my path and uh, it's been a great journey it's been a great journey and, and hopefully these these videos that I'm going to start putting out help someone else who who is finding a tough time of finding their path and, and if, if that's you right now watching this and you're having a hard time figuring out what your path is what's right for you that's okay don't stress it you're going to find it you will find it okay it may just take you a little longer than some other people we all travel our path at a different pace so that's where I'm gonna kinda leave this one for now um, leave you with that food for thought uh, and um, I don't I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do next time but uh, um, there will be a next time so uh, hope you guys enjoyed um, I know in my gaming videos I I'm kinda comical about the whole leave a like if you want to if you don't that's fine thing um, but you know in all honesty um, I would appreciate it if, if with this video, um, if you enjoy it, you would go ahead and leave a like. Just so I know that that this content um, is doing some kind of good. And don't be afraid to leave comments. And yeah, I, I know, I know I'm going to get some haters on in my comments. It's going to happen. You're wasting your words. I'm just telling you right now. Because as soon as I, I get that hate, I'm just going to scroll, scroll, scroll. Not even going to bother with it. Um, but uh, if, if maybe there's something particular you would like me to, to touch on with, with my next video, uh, leave that in the comments also. Um, I'm open to suggestion. You know, again, this is, this is a journey I'm sharing in, in hopes that that it helps somebody else on their journey or at least you know helps somebody realize that there are more like-minded people out there so um, please leave a like if you enjoyed it um, if you didn't that's that's fine uh, if you've got some constructive criticism um, I'd love to hear that too you know so uh, uh, if you guys stick with it and keep checking out my videos. See you in the next one. Leprechaun out.